And as you, as you would expect, mental subtraction is as easy as mental addition. Uh, without wasting much time, let us uh, go quickly into some mental subtraction problem. Alright, uh, I have this color right here, which it is, has a very absurd name. Anyways, it looks like a yellow to me. Uh, let's do some subtraction problems and uh, we, we remember the left to right way although the left to right way is the most efficient when you do uh, when you do multiplication problem but nevertheless let us begin uh, let me do uh, let me think let me do a simple one uh, let me do 23 minus 17 and this kind of has become my favorite four digits or favorite two numbers Alright, what is 22 minus 17? What you do, you, this time, you do from the left to the right. That's, that's a universal rule for mental math. But, this time, instead of adding one digit, you subtract one. If the, if the, if the, there's a carry forward coming. And that you can do by making, uh, by a quick, by making a quick glance at these two, these two digits right here. And if the upper digit uh, is smaller than the lower digit then you uh, then uh, you uh, minus one from this digit right here so which becomes one and one minus one is zero and now you do seven minus thirteen which is five and I told you that mental subtraction uh, from left to right isn't a great deal and uh, the, the left to right method is the most effective while doing mental multiplication so you could ignore this method if you want but uh, it's good to have it in your toolkit and the same rule for as addition uh, to use our unit applies in mental uh, so mental subtraction as well so while you are uh, while you're subtracting uh, 1 million, uh, 2 million uh, minus 1 million, you just say it's 1 million. You don't align all the zeros and then do the subtraction and all those stuff. Um, uh, so, uh, and also the rounding method applies. So if you have a number close to uh, a, a 100 or might be a 10 or might be a 50 or might be uh, uh, so anything you want. Uh, for instance, if I have uh, 235 uh, minus 99, all right this at first uh, will take you a little a sufficient amount of time if you do it by the traditional method that you do uh, you carry forward one here you uh, cancel this three and write there two and that's that's good enough and that will give you the answer but when you don't have a paper you consider this as 100 minus 1 and now you subtract uh, uh, 200, uh, 100 from 235 see what you get by subtracting 235 minus 100 oh yes that should be 135 but wait we have count uh, we have subtracted one extra so we need to add back and this addition addition is the major difference between uh, the subtraction problems and the addition problems so the answer is 136 pretty easy wasn't it let me take uh, a more complicated one let me do uh, 779 minus let me change colors let me do 199 what is 199 close to and I'm doing that intentionally that's 200 minus 1 so subtract 779 minus 200 take advantage of the unit it's 700 it's 200 so I can subtract the 2 from the 7 directly so I get 579 perfect but wait I have counted and uh, I have subtracted one more so I add that one back and the answer is 580 cool isn't it uh, I, I think we should confirm this answer so just so that you're just sure that this method works uh, this is 0 right here this is 6 right here and this is 8 and 580 and that's equal to this alright hope you're getting the gist of it and let me do some more of these uh, let me do the last one and I'll leave it to you again and from the next video we'll do some multiplication all right, let me do a big one. Let me do one five nine one thousand five hundred uh one hundred fifty nine uh one two 
3 and subtract 99,000. 99,000. 159,123 subtracted sub, uh, minus 99,000. And this is a huge number, of course, but uh, if you try the mental math, it's actually easy. It's 100,000 minus 100,000 minus 1,000 this time, right? It's not just 1, it's 1,000. All right. So first you do uh, first you do 159,123 minus 100,000. I see 159 and 100. Do you see the units matching? So you can just simply remove this one and you get 59,123. 59,123. But wait, you have subtracted 1,000 extra. So you need to add back the 1,000. And uh, now, notice the thousand is right here, and the thousand right here. You match the units, and it becomes sixty thousand one hundred and twenty-three. So you get the point. You get this very hard-looking subtraction problem, very big enough, and you convert it into uh, a, a, a easy thing to do mentally, and you get finally the answer. And all this mentally, right? Uh, now you can also do this mentally, right? Adding a thousand to fifty-nine thousand, it's not that difficult. And one to three remains one to three, all right? Uh, so you just try this at home. Uh, try uh, try a lot of examples. Make the make your own examples and uh, try to uh, do as much as practice as possible because practice makes man perfect. And once you get the gist of it, uh, once you get the gist of it, you can just be a perfectionist in this thing. All right, let me write down two simple things which uh, I have taught you. Rule one, and let's assume that's this rule, and it says hard addition problem, addition problems can often be turned into simple subtraction problem and I'm writing very quickly subtraction problems and very very similarly I write it R2 hard subtraction problems problems can often be turned into easy addition problems. And if you have watched the two videos which I have made on basic addition and basic subtraction, you should know the meaning of these rules. Just frame these rules somewhere because that's uh, these rules are going to come you handy, very, very handy as you do mental subtraction, mental addition. And now all of a sudden, your tests are a lot more interesting as you get more time to do the problems rather than doing the arithmetic at the corner of the paper. Thank you.